So I was gonna go out somewhere tonight and like hang out and have a good time, but then I thought to myself, I said, we're getting ready to move on the, the 28th, 9th is when we get our keys. So you guys will get a full out tour of the new house on the 29th as best as we can uh, because the power should be on, but I don't know if there's light bulbs everywhere. Should be. We'll figure it out. We'll see how good the lighting is in the new house. Heck yeah, good thinking, Tim. So, I, I need to start, like, continue on this packing path. And we're doing pretty good, but I figured today, darkness, we would try to take these guys out of the ceiling, which is going to stink because uh, the wires go through the attic. And when I take those speakers out, that's just attic right there. Ooh, it's, you hear that? Oh, I took down all of the, everything off the walls. And there's, like, it's starting, starting to echo in here. Because we're starting to move. We're moving. Hello. Uh, I'm such. All right. I'm a weirdo. So uh, more than likely, there's going to be some nastiness that falls onto me, and uh, it's not going to be too fun. But we're going to try to make it so that it's not too gross. We'll see, though. More than likely, it's going to be gross either way. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys that what I was exporting the vlog from yesterday. With the snake and everything, you guys didn't see it. Go back to yesterday, there was a snake and it tried to bite me and all. So it was fun stuff. I was grabbing at it. Uh, as I was exporting that, I went and I like took a shower and did something, and then I came back to it. And my computer, I like tried to take it out of the screensaver, and it was like ah, eh! and it froze, which is the first time that that's happened in like a year and a half. But I was like, what is going on here? So I'm like, I reset it, tried to watch the video, but it, the player that I was playing it on was making some of the audio out of sync so I don't know if some of you guys saw it with bad audio but then when I went to go look for it it didn't save it because it closed out of it in the middle of uh, ridiculousness hopefully the audio is was in sync for you guys I think it's so funny when you can like see where the couch was when you move the couch out of the way uh, hopefully that like fluffs up when we vacuum it I'm gonna try to make it so that nothing falls on my face but more than likely something will God, it's, it's terrible. Oh. I'm so scared. Oh. get back to there. Oh, I finally did it. Look at all the, the junk that fell. That's all insulation, not like gross stuff, but that could have fallen on my face. Look at that. It's not, it's like, I still have to like patch it up and everything, but for the most part, that looks awesome. And look, look at how easily the carpet fluffed back up after just like, oh, well, you guys can still see where the couch was really well, but I mean like, it, it's not as like crushed as it was before. Looks good. I just, I just vacuumed. Sorry, I didn't finish saying that. Next one's not going to turn out so good. Look at that big old chunk that's missing from it. Nicki Minaj. Dang it, the second one came out ridiculously easy. And the little hole that we saw earlier is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, I don't know, I'm going to get some caulk and I'm going to fill all the cracks and holes and everything and see how it turns out. And then we got this little thing that we just like dab up there that recreates the, uh, the popcorn, the texture. Hopefully it'll be like unnoticeable. But more than likely, it'll be easily noticeable. <laughs> We're going to see. Hopefully unnoticeable. So here's halfway, and I know that it's very hard for you guys to see. It's very easy for me to see. Oh, there you go. It's easy for you to see now. It disappears when you go further away. But uh, all I did was caulk the caulk, the, the crack around it. I'm going to let that caulk dry because it's really noticeable right now. And then I'll show you the little thing that we got, and we'll see how it works. This is what we got. Ceiling patch popcorn. It's got like a little sponge on the end. And little pieces of popcorn come out of it. When I say popcorn, that's this texture. It's po called popcorn. And little pieces of the texture come out. And then you squish them up onto the ceiling. And hopefully it disappears. Brought you guys over to hole number two so that you can kind of see the process of what I'm doing. And this is a pretty big area. I should be able to just fill it with caulk because caulk's pretty forgiving like that. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And then I'm just squeezing as much. Oh no, it's going to drip on my carpet. 
or on my old house's carpet. Yeah. So I'm kind of just just liberally applying caulk to the to the cracks here. And then uh, come on now. And then I'm gonna go back and squish it in with my fingers here to get it so that it goes into the hole. Because if it's just sitting on the surface, it's not gonna it's gonna be too thin to to do anything. So now that I've caulked all of the crack, oh, 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 there goes the caulk. Now, now that I've caulked the entire cracks all the way around, I'm going to start with this big area here and just kind of flush it out a little bit here. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. All right, now I'm, now I'm squishing it into the hole here. Squishing it into the crack. All right. Got a lot of caulk on my fingers. All over the place. Caulk everywhere. Wish I wasn't manipulating this caulk with my left hand. It's kind of getting tired. There we go. Now that it's nice and done, I take a nice big fat wet sponge here. And now I'm just going to kind of smooth it out a little bit so that it's not so incredibly noticeable. So once we're done smoothing this out a little bit, it's kind of just like we have a spot without texture in the ceiling that we will come back with our little tube of texture and put texture on. Fairly decent. Without any texture on it, it'll get better. Now while this caulk is up here drying away, I decided to, you guys didn't get to see this, but I decided to put another coat on here. But first I took a sponge, like a real, that sponge that you saw me doing up on the ceiling with the, the caulk and got it real, like not real wet, but pretty damp and then just rubbed real hard on my old drywall patch and it kind of smoothed it out and like sanded it down. The only thing right now is, and I, I think I'm just gonna leave it, but you can kind of see my my fiber tape through some spots. And uh, because the wall's so bad, I'm not gonna worry about it too bad. Cause I think that once I spray the texture on it, it'll disappear pretty good. All right, now they're pretty dry and what? What's that? No. Oh, I didn't fall asleep on the couch and that's why they're so dry. Cause now it's the next morning. God, what am I, some kind of old man? I mean, look, it's perfectly nighttime outside. Either way you look at it, let's see how this applicator does this little. Now this is the wall that I know is gonna work a lot better for the spray, because I know how to do this one 100%. I mean, the, the, the popcorn doesn't look too bad, but this one I know 100% will work. Look, look awesome. Tell me if you can see where those speakers were. Oh, there's a little dark spot right there because the paint's still drying. But over here, can't see it at all. Heck yeah, and you can't even see where the speakers were. I haven't even painted yet here. And you can't, there's still a little wet spot right there. But <clears throat> once I paint it, nobody will ever know. It'll be awesome. So I'll, I'll see you guys today and now it's time to pay the price.